Hello all, I am Sanya Bhaldar. I am from Rajaram Bapu Institute of Technology. I am presenting on robotic sensors. So these are the topics. First one is introduction. So in introduction, I am explaining what is a robot and what are the components of robots. Then next one is examples of robots. Here I am giving some examples of robots and we find out which sensors are used in that. Then next one is what is sensor, then need of sensors and last topic is types of sensors. So let's start. First one is introduction. A machine that resembles a human and does mechanical routine tasks on command is a robot. Any machine or mechanical device that operates automatically with human-like skill is a robot. A typical robot has a movable physical structure, a motor of some sort, then a sensor system, a power supply, and a computer brain, which is a microcontroller that controls all these elements. So these are the components of robot. Here are some examples of robots. In first example, this robot is for production lines for manual labor and combining large parts that are manufactured in assembly. It uses its claw-like hand to grab large parts and place them on a line. So here in this robot, proximity sensors are used, then tactile sensors are used. In example 2, this is a new robot kit you can purchase for about $300. It can walk and navigate you if we program it. It comes with an optional camera. So here camera sensor is used. In example 3, this robot like this robot like this is used to go where humans can't. This one in particular is made for bomb disposal. It will disarm a bomb using a water jet stream to puncture and disarm the trigger to the bomb. So what is a sensor? A sensor is a converter that measures a physical quantity and converts it into a signal that can be read by an observer. Robotic sensing is a branch of robotics, robotic science intended to give robots sensing capabilities so that robots are more human-like. Robot sensing mainly gives robots the ability to see, touch, hear and move and uses algorithms that require environmental feedback. And so the use of sensors in robots has taken them into the next level of creativity. Most importantly, the sensors have increased the performance of robots to a large extent. Need of sensors. For sensors are used for localization, then obstacle detection, and third one is internal information. So for these option operations, we need sensors in robot. These are some sensors used in robot sensing. So there is a one bot and it is attached with microcontroller and servo motor and all other sensors are attached to microcontroller. So various sensors are like microphones, ultrasonic sensors, acoustic vector sensors, camera sensors, infrared sensors, and chemical sensors. So these are the types of sensor. First one is exterior receptors and proprioreceptor. Exterior receptors are the external sensors. The sensors which are externally attached to a bot are called external sensors and internal sensors are internally fixed or dumped in the bot are called as internal sensors. So these are the various sensors used in robotics. So first one is proximity sensors. They sense and indicate presence and sometimes position also without physical contact. This sensor will be turned on at a specified distance which will be measured by means of feet or millimeters. 
and it is also used to find the presence of a human being in the work volume so that the accidents can be reduced under the proximity sensors there are two types of sensors first one is infrared sensors and ultrasonic sensors so infrared sensors are an ir led transmits a beam of ir light and if it finds an obstacle the light is simply reflected back which is captured by an ir receiver so few ir transceivers can also be used for distance measurement ultrasonic sensors these sensors generate high frequency sound waves the received echo suggests an object interruption ultrasonic sensors also be used for distance measurement so second sensor is range sensors range sensor is implemented in the end effectors of a robot to calculate the distance between the sensors and work part the values for the distance can be given by the workers on visual data it can evaluate the size of images and analysis of common objects the range is measured using the sonar receivers and transmitters or two tv cameras next one is tactile sensor a sensing device that specifies the contact between an object and the sensor is considered as a tactile sensor tactile sensors are often in everyday objects such as elevator buttons and lamps which dim or brighten by touching the base this sensor can be sorted in two key types first one is touch sensor and second one is post sensor so what are touch sensors a touch sensor has got the ability to sense and detect the touching of a sensor and object some of commonly used simple devices as touch sensors are micro switches limit switches etc in addition it can be used as an inspection device which has a probe to measure the size of a component and what are post sensor the post sensor is in, is included for calculating the forces of several functions like the machine loading and unloading material handling and so on that are performed by a robot there are several techniques used in this sensor like joint sensing robot wrist force sensing and tactile array sensing so these are the images of touch sensor and force sensors so fourth one is light sensor a light sensor is used to detect light and create a voltage difference the two main light sensor generally used in robots are photoresistors and photovoltaic cells photoresistor is a type of a resistor whose resistance varies with change in light intensity photovoltaic cells convert solar radiation into electrical energy so these are the photovoltaic cells in left side and photoresistors in right side so fifth one is sound sensors this sensor generally a microphone detects sound and returns a voltage proportional to the sound level a simple robot can be designed to navigate based on the sound it receives this image is a of sound sensor sixth one is temperature sensor tiny temperature sensor ics provide a voltage difference for a change in temperature ntc thermistor can be assembled in housing in a variety of configuration for temperature sensing measurement detection indicator monitoring and control applications for temperature sensing include air temperature sensor surface temperature sensor and so on so this is a temperature sensor now contact sensor contact sensor are those which require physical contact against other object to trigger a push button switch limit switch or tactile bumper switch are all examples of contact sensor so this is a limit switch contact sensor voltage sensors voltage sensors typically convert lower voltages to higher voltages or vice versa simple led can act as a voltage sensor which can detect a voltage difference and light up then last one is current sensor current sensors are electronic circuits which monitor the current flow in a circuit and output either a proportional voltage or a current so these are the various sensors used in robotics thank you